we are at Goodwood Speed Week, essentially the replacement for the Festival of Speed. And the rules here are masks on inside and outside. Hence this. Today's video is about a Porsche. Not this, not this, or even this one here. It's more about this. And weirdly, one of these. You see, Porsche has a vast history in endurance racing, but things have been tightening up in recent years. They no longer have an LMP1 programme, which means at Le Mans they only enter the GTE class. And that's all because they're now knee deep in Formula E. But what if I was to tell you that just a few years ago, Porsche were on the verge of joining Formula One as an engine supplier? Porsche has dipped its toes into F1 before. They built their own car back in 1962 and famously supplied engines that took McLaren to three drivers and two constructors world championships in the 80s. Hop forward to 2014 and Porsche decided to enter an LMP1 car, the now legendary and frighteningly quick 919 hybrid. And it's fair to say it was a rampant success three Le Mans titles in four attempts due to some of the greatest engineering in modern motorsport. The technical highlight of this car for me is its engine, a truly unique motor to find in a racing car. Underneath that bodywork is a two litre, 500 horsepower V4. Now you can find V6s and V8s absolutely everywhere in motorsport, but a V4 in a car is incredibly rare. That engine is coupled with a double hybrid system. At the front axle, you have regenerative braking called KERS, and then at the back, you've got an exhaust-driven hybrid system known as ERS. Couple those two things with that engine, and you end up with a 900 horsepower, downforce-obsessed weapon. The V4 engine was so powerful and efficient that nearing the end of the 919 program, the engineers started to have a think. They had a cracking single turbo engine, a curse system and an ERS system. Suddenly, they've got a package that's not too far away from what you find in the back of an F1 car. And so the order came from the top to start developing a V6 version of the 919's engine that could be F1 compatible for 2021, with Porsche being part of the powertrain working group that decided the new regulations. And they did it. Somewhere in Stuttgart, on a shelf, is a Porsche F1 V6 engine that was built using the knowledge gained from this thing. So what happened? Well, Fritz Enzinger, the vice president of Porsche Motorsport, came clean in 2019. He said that they built and tested an F1 engine, but their parent company, Volkswagen, got in a bit of trouble around about that time and canceled the LMP1 project, shifting everything to Formula E. That meant that that group of engineers was essentially disbanded and all of that R&D was essentially put to bed. Also, Porsche had been part of that F1 technical working group, meaning that the engine they'd produced was in line with the regulations that they were working towards. Simpler, cheaper engines. F1 has since changed its mind, however, sticking with the relatively complicated engines that are in the cars currently, not the engine that Porsche had produced. So is Porsche's F1 engine dead? Well, there could still be life in it. Enzinger has said that even after closing the LMP1 project, they continue to work on the engine, one for research purposes, and two because if kept simple enough, it could be a good candidate to be used in a future super sports car. The Porsche rumour mill these days is saying that they could return to Le Mans either in a hypercar or an LMDH car. And that V6 turbo engine using 919 tech and with electric motors at the front could make for the perfect return to the top. And who knows, we may even get a road car out of it. 
The Carrera GT used a disused engine that was meant for F1. So, in the coming years, we could be in for something very, very special.